business transactions forbidden by the lawgiver. Overly risk transactions. This refers to any transaction containing unknown quantity, quantities, qualities or containing great risk or gambling. Said that the Messenger of Allah prohibited and over risk, overly risky transactions. In his commentary to Sahih Muslim, Imam An Nawawi wrote, "The prohibition of overly risky transactions is a great principle of the principles of business transactions." For this reason, Muslim presented this hadith first. Countless other issues are covered by it, such as the sale of a runaway slave of something that does not exist, of something unknown, of something that one cannot deliver, of something that is not completely owned by the seller of the fish in a large body, of water, of the milk, in an animal's udder, of the fetus in an animal, of unspecified part of a heap, of a piece of clothing among garments, of a sheep among sheep, and so on. All of these sales are void as they all constitute to a, uh, constitute a great deal of risk and uncertainty without any cold for need. If due to some need, people have to venture into risk-bearing transactions, which cannot be avoided except with difficulty. And if the amount of risk is minuscule, then the transaction is permissible. Thus, for example, Muslims all agree that it is permissible to buy a stuffed dish even if one does not see what it is stuffed with, while if one were to buy the, st the stuffing by itself, it would not be permissible. You should realize that the Mulamasa transaction, the transaction the sale of an animal before it is it is born the hassa transaction and fees and other transactions concerning which there is a particular text are all included under the general category of the prohibition of overly risky transactions but they have been mentioned separately and prohibited specifically because they were types of transactions that were well known in the pre-Islamic days of ignorance. The Mulamasa transaction and the transaction, two types of transactions were prohibited al and al is where each party touches the garment of the other without inspecting it, is where so each flings a garment to the other and neither of them look at the garment of the other. The Messenger of Allah forbade us two types of transaction and two types of garments. He, he forbade al mulamasa and al transaction is for one man to touch another's garment during the night or day and not inspect it beyond that is for one man to fling a garment to the other and vice versa that will be the end of their transaction without inspection or approval selling the unborn fetus the people of the days of ignorance used to sell camel's meat all the way to the extent of and is the offspring of the present pregnant camel becoming pregnant in the future the Prophet forbade that said that the message of Allah forbade it for prohibited and over risky transaction. Imam al Nawawi wrote in 
his commentary to Sahih Muslim. There are three interpretations to the meaning of the first is for a person to say, I sell to you the garments upon which these pebbles I throw land on, or I sell to you the land from here until where the pebbles land. The second interpretation is that it is for a person to say, I have sold this to you, but you have an option to cancel until I throw these pebbles. The third is that they allow the throwing of the pebbles to determine the sale, saying, if I hit this garment with a pebble, I buy it from you for such and such sudfis. Selling what one does not possess. I said, O Messenger of Allah, a person comes to me and asks me to sell him something that I do not have. Can I still sell it? The prophets replied, Do not sell that which you do not have, selling something before taking possession of it. Uh, the Messenger of Allah said, Whoever buys foodstuff must not sell them until he takes possession of them. Further added, I reckon that everything is analogues to foodstuff. Stated that the message of Allah said, Whoever buys foodstuff must not sell it until he has weighed it. Why that was the case? And he replied, Don't you see that they sell foodstuffs against gold for a specified time? Selling against one's brother. That the prophets said, do not undercut one another in business transactions. Also narrated that the Messenger of Allah said, a Muslim should not make a purchase in opposite to his brother. To his brother. Transaction is when a person buys something from another one, on, from another on credit and takes possession of the item when a person buys something from another from on credit and takes possession of the item and then turns around and sells it to the original seller for a cash price which is less than the credit price that the prophet stated if you be begin to participate in her, take after the tales of cows because become pleased with agriculture and leave jihad in the way of Allah, Allah will inflict upon you a disgrace that will not leave you until you return to their religion. Payments over time with an increase in the price. These days, purchasing items via payments over time with an increase in the price has become very common. It is known as by as is known. This is an in item is this is an item is purchased on credit.